it's time for a CNC Nuts Top Tip. Hello fellow CNC Nuts and welcome. Today's top tip comes from Jim Anderson, Texas, USA. He's got me building this. What is it you ask? Well, it's simply a piece of wood with some holes drilled in it and a couple of slots. If I remove this bolt from here, you can see I've drilled a hole in the end here. I've cut a slot into it going past that hole and then I've drilled a hole right through it and put a bolt in. Now, I can put a bolt in and if I tighten this nut up here, it will trap that bolt so it can't move. I've done the same on the other end, except I've put a quarter inch router bit in here. You can use whatever you have available. You don't have to use what I've used. So what's it for? This little device will allow me to very accurately set my router to the table, making sure the router is perfectly perpendicular to the tabletop. Let's see how it works. So my first piece of advice is, if you're doing this, is to drive your router to the center of the table where you want to do your testing and unplug it. The last thing you want is when this is attached for the router to start spinning. It's simply a matter of putting the device into the router like so and nipping up the collet. The device can now swing it freely around the tabletop. Now what I'm going to do is I can see where it is over here and I'm just going to turn the stepper motor and simply just manually wind it down until it almost touches the table. And there we go, it's, it's almost touching there. Now when I rotate it around the table, it shouldn't hit anywhere. So it's touching just here, and it's really touching over here, it's binding something wicked. And towards the back, again it's starting to touch there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply raise it up, and I'll swing it round until I find the high spot. And here it is here, that's it there, that's, it's just touching there, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit more until it's just free of the tabletop there. There we go, it's just above it. So this is this is the high spot here. So if I swing it round here, I'm about um, three, four millimetres high here. I'm uh, more than that there, about five millimetres there. And about three to four millimetres high at the back. But over here, I'm just touching, maybe just, I can just hear it rubbing and no more. So clearly the router, ta this router is sitting kinked like that. It's, no, it's not sitting up square. Now fortunately the V bearings here on this router are such that I can easily adjust where they sit because they're on eccentric bearings. So I'm just going to pull this bearing back and now by pushing this B bearing that way it will lift this side here. Like so. With that now adjusted up, I can now swing the device round and check left, right, front and rear. And that looks about right. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit where it's almost touching and I'll swing around here and it's just starting to touch there 
Again, it's still good back in front, but if anything, I've gone just a little bit too far on this side here. So I'm just going to adjust this here so it comes up a little bit. That's good. That's good. That's excellent. So I've now been through and adjusted the bearings on my router. I can now see no difference in height between here and here. And even if it was out by half a millimetre, that's 20 thou, which is an amount I can easily see, the router would still only be out by 0 0.09 of a degree. So that's very small indeed. It's not out by that much, so it's even more accurate than that now. And far more accurate than it'll ever be, trying to use a conventional square to square up the router will ever be. Now one thing to bear in mind is when doing this, if this is a new tabletop that's never been flattened, you need to flatten it first. Otherwise this could be on any angle and trying to set this up to the angle of the table is a waste of time. So if this is a new table, just give it a quick skim. You may end up with ridges in it when you do it, but don't worry about that. You'll be able to work out where this should be. You can then skim it again and retest it. It should be fine after that. So a big thank you to Jim for this week's top tip. Hopefully he's encouraged people to go out and build their very own um, thing. This is the original one I made when I was doing my table. This one is nowhere near as accurate as this one here, and that's because the point at which it attaches to the router and the point at which the measuring is done is so much greater. The longer this distance, the more accurate it will be. So make it as big as you can for your table. Don't even worry if this pin is not square to the piece of wood. It doesn't matter. So long as they're firmly held in place, it'll work just fine. I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can go and view Jim's excellent writer on how he built his, along with some photos he took of it. It certainly looks a lot better than mine. If you've got a top tip you'd like to share, why not send it to me at the email address shown on the screen below. I'll make a short video and give you name credit. In the meantime, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Cheers! Don't take life too seriously. It's not as if you'll make it out alive.